There we go. There's the wall. Okay, so this one might um, take an unexpected turn by the looks of it. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're well. We are recovering. <laughs> we, after the incident the other week, we're still recovering. We've still got a few burns on my hands, but it is what it is. I am recovering. I'm getting now. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that commented, showed a bit of support last week. Honestly, really appreciated. Really do. So this week, we got a Worcester Junior, probably one of the most common boilers out there. Customers found us up a few weeks ago. They're having intermittent faults with you. So sometimes it works, sometimes it won't. It's working more than it won't, so it's one thing it will happen every week or so. It'll just, they'll have to reset it. So I asked them, when's the last time you had the service? They can't remember. So I said, right, full strip and clean. Let's get in there and have a look. So I'm going to show you some of the common faults that you might find on there. How to take it apart, how to put it back together. Now, unfortunately for this customer, they had a bit of a problem with the boiler, which you may come across, so it's worth keeping a lookout for this. Yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's so far. We are so close to 5K now. Cannot wait to do this giveaway for everybody. It is going to be amazing. So yeah, we've um, got a new new prize added to it. Um, stick around till the end of the video. I'll show you what that is. So if you haven't scrolled so far, hit the link below. Any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Like the video on you. Let's get straight into this week's video. Right, so today we've got a full strip and clean on this Worcester. Very popular boiler, the Junior. So we're going to take all apart, take everything out and give it a really, really good clean out. So yeah, let's start by taking the case off as well to get these, stay, to get these case off, look underneath. We've got a screw there, let's undo that. Screw there, undo that. Right, so once the two screws are loosened, you don't need to take them out. Go up to the top here, you can see the screw there, and the screw there, just take them out. I'll slide this case out. And that then we'll just pull it forward. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this one might um, take an unexpected turn by the looks of it. So yeah, can you see this crusting around here? The exchange is gone. The exchange is well and truly gone. Um, yeah. So this is supposed to be full stripping clean. And then I've got to give the customer the bad news that they need a new heat exchanger. Never mind, we'll have to form full strip and clean to just a basic service. Make sure that gasket's okay, because that's another prime one. The red gasket on here can go. Um, what I'll do, I'll put, it, I'll put the boiler on, put my telegram around here and make sure there's no fumes. But yeah, that's really unfortunate to be fair. I was able to do a video showing you how to take all this apart, give it a really good clean out, but there's no point if that needs a place in there, unfortunately. Yeah, just looking, uh, another common fault on these is, I have noticed the other way eventually, can you see that one? Look how orange that is. I think they're going to have a problem with system water. Look, it's orange here as well, so I think dirty system water's caused that. Can you see it moving as well? Sometimes that is an indicator of dirty system water, it can just be how much the exchange is, but yeah. And trap. Well, yeah, let's take that out and uh, see how much crap's in there. So, right, do that. Pull the arms off. And you can see that little metal catch there. Push that in. Twist. I don't think that's been there in a while. Push it outside the base there. Let's get that clean out. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's uh, see if we can get it on camera for you. I'm going to try and do it one-handed now. So it's just, you can take the bottom piece off. So just a look there, and a look there. Come on, buddy. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't know that's been working. There we go. Looking a lot better now. Nice and clear, nice and muck out of there. Yeah, let's pop that back in. Find it up, push it in, twist. Hit that click, that's what you know is in. And you get the condensate back on. If you hear that big clunk there, it's because I'm balancing this wood. Because I'm replacing all the floorboards, so. Yeah, I thought it was going to the ceiling then. Anyway, let's get you back on, let's back on. Just make sure you don't pull it out of the uh, pod connection here. 
yeah, that was closed when I come. I'm guessing it was leaking, so I'm just gonna close it back off. Yeah, that's just the if you ever come out to one of these and they can just close them off. It's a quick way just to if you haven't got one to come back and do it. But obviously on this one it might be a new boiler. Um if they don't need I mean I don't mind doing these, not a problem, but yeah. If do if I do the exchanger, I'll do the auto open as well. I'm probably recommend a clean out looking at the orange water on that. Okay, let's see uh, let's this gasket up here. What we're going to do is fire the boiler on the hot water, get the analyzer on. I'm going to put my probe all around there where the gasket is just to make sure that it isn't passing. If it is passing, it's going to need a new gasket. If it isn't, we can leave it. So yeah, the least I can do on this boiler, the better because obviously, new exchanger, you'll get the gasket anyway. So, yeah, let's uh, check that. See if we've got any readings. So, I've quickly turned it off because I don't like getting too hot, but yeah, we've got readings when we just put it around there. So. Take it apart. as well. I said I was going to melt water. Don't do it on a basin. <laughs> Sometimes these are blocked up. I've just been managed to get in here just in time. Other than that, I'd say a minute later this was been spilling over. So yeah, bring it on the bath. Okay, so I'll start off. Take that pin out there. Yes, well, that's the burn on my hand from the other video. Link up there. Why not? So take that pin out. And Oh, struggle. Fuck okay, hell to get that out because it's going to be. Fuck, sorry, come on. I am sticking my tongue out. Oh, come on. Oh. Never put the camera down and I'll get there, but yeah, you got to pull that out. Like that. But yeah, pull the earth. I'm in a breath now. And the electrics. Oh, I'm stuck tonight. Pull them out. And there's a. Pull that out. Bear the 13 mil nut top of here. Or we're a joker. And then you just undo that. There's another bird. Undo that. That'll come out there. Put them on top of there for later. Probably fall off and lose them. That's off, that's off. Pull that cover off. We should be able to twist. And once you get to there, put up. And that goes straight out. There we go. That's the fan assembly out. Alright, let's get these on. Two. These are coming up nice and easy. Sometimes I'm welding on. That's all three of them off. And that plate there lifts up. And it. Let's put you back there. Yeah, that's the gasky. Not looking good. Take the electrodes out and have a look. It's still quite hot. Nothing left of that. I'm going to have to replace them. The nice of all them. That's the gasket. Oh, it's welded to the heat exchanger. Welded to the burner. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to stick the burner out and clean the top of that before putting the new one on. None of these just put in. Like that. Filter. Slot it out there. Like that. There we go. Let's have a look at the exchanger, get us a bit in the me. Yeah, that could have done with a plane, but like I said, no point now. It's going to have to have a new exchanger. Obviously, the crust in a bit better all the way around the edge. So, yeah, let's get this uh, cleaned off. New seal, new electrodes. Yeah, just use a scraper to get the mask off, but this has been a bit stuck, so just got some abrasive pad and clean that off. That's that lovely and clean there, ready for the new gasket. But yeah, these are side by side, so electrodes. Yeah, you can see them, them need replacing, and the gasket. Look at the difference in them, even the thickness. Look, thin as anything, nice and thick. So, unfortunately, that does need doing. Can't just leave that. So, let's get that in. Uh, I should, I should work a lot better then. 
because they did say there was only some intermittent issues so block on the seat poor electrodes it should eliminate that from there let's get this back in a bit tired, I don't know why. Sometimes I struggle to get the burner back in. Don't know. Put it back on top of that. Oh, I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot something on this. Let me show you. Yeah. Put your gasket on. There you go. Put this on. You notice it didn't come out of this one. I changed the design on the Worcesters to put that in. I think it's because it mainly goes. You can see it's all brittle around there. That's where these gaskets mainly go. So I'll put that in. So yeah. Make sure you put that on. See, it just goes over the one, and there's a little gap there, goes over that. And you can pull that down. There we go. It's all about you, Joe. I learned to do everything one handed. So the days I dial the cord, fly around. There we go. Have a give it through one day. Have a go at doing everything one handed while holding the phone. Makes you a better engineer. But yeah, that's the new one in. We can get that in there. Left trials back into there. There's like a little hole there. Let me get it back in so you can have a look. Is that all there? Yeah, just got to answer there. That's when we know it's in place and ready to go. So with the plate, just see if we get it on camera. It's a good angle. It's a good angle. There we go. See it just hooked on there, push in, and that will come down. It should line up with that knot. Yeah, there we go. And that'll just pull down now. And just be careful for that black clip. So I snapped them before when I've been pulling these down. Yeah, we can get the, uh, the fan assembly back. So we've got to do with this fan assembly is. I'll try and show you. You see them lugs there? So it goes down there and you twist it and it goes into them grooves just there. Can you imagine twisting it? So twisting into there. So yes, them lugs there. And twist the inside. Let's see if we can get somebody on camera. I don't know how much I'll be able to, but here it goes. All right, so we've got it in. What we're going to do now. Get that in position there. Now, what I'm going to do is sort of push up here so it pulls the back down, lines it up, and should be able to twist that into place. Like that. There we go. Now, if you're new to the industry, first time you do one of them you will swear and pull your hair out you really will until you get the knack of it you, it's just getting the knack of it so don't worry everyone struggles the first time to do these um, yeah that's it on back in what we do now put the nut back on there and pop that down there but so you know before you do all that put your leads back on now i've got to try and get my hand the back of there to get that back on which is going to be pain in the ass never mind select rods all back on Tighten that muscle because it will only go on one way the way it's shaped. Yeah, bit of spanner. I should spanner back in there. Now, so that's one way I have to be careful when tightening these up because it just glides, this does, and I don't want to over tighten it. There we go, that's it all tightened back up. Oh, just nice that on camera. There we go, that was kinked. That's where you do your uh, fan pressure test one. I'll show you how to do that, but more likely it's going to be really low. It does need a good clean, but. No point doing anything, changing its placing. So let's get the electrics back on. Let's push them back in. There we go. Back at the top of there. There it goes in. And then that. Let's have a fight. Oh, yeah. Check these as well. The back of these hoses. Just at the back here. They can split. Just at the back there. That one's fine. One. That's back. You'll know when you see him because it will look like a clunk. Oh, shit. I'll just drop the clip for that. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. There you go. That was okay. Right, let's get the clip into there. Oh, it's killing me, that is. There we go. I'll see back in. Back on, just like that. No, I'm joking, I'll put that back in properly in a minute. Yeah, that's it. Uh, gasket all placed and that with new electrodes. Happy days. Yeah, hold, book it. Let's do the expansion. So, before we take that, I can get up the back here. Get this off. Should have 
we were eating this morning, come on. There we go. Oh, buddy. I'm still really tired. There we go. Okay, let's get that done. So, I'll just put it on, you can probably hear. Uh, Sound like you can hear that? Start it to come out, so we know the hose is blocked. As we start pumping that up, it'll push the water out the expansion vessel. So you want that just about round one. Pressure on the border on zero. Yeah, just get up there, take that off, spray some bubbles on it, just make sure it's not passing, and that's the expansion vessel all done. So I'll pass that off. There we go. The boiler, where they coming out, is it? Turn that to the left, just like that. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Just pressure the boiler, that'll do it. There we go. Alright, yeah. nice. let's do our safety checks now. They've just seen no more readings around the gasket. I've got it service mark, where you're at. Press and hold that button, it's a bit of a mate. Down to the frost for minimum, up to the maximum, maximum, just carry on minimum, do the minimum test, do the maximum test, do the gas rate. Then we're popping the loft, check the fluid, make sure that's okay. That's a fan pressure, 400 volt like hours, one of them. Lobbed it off a old boiler, took it in. And we adjust that down a little bit. And the uh, maximum. That's a two and a half mil uh, Weera Allen key. Just that now, get that to about 9.8. That's about 9.9. .9. Yeah, we'll do another one with the case on as well, but yeah, that, that, that's fine. Now. So I know the audio is a bit crap when I'm doing fluid gas analyzers because it's noisy, but I've got the case back on. I'm going to do maximum, make sure that's okay. Then I'll do a fluid integrity and pop up into the loft and check that, make sure that's okay. FSD check, done the gas right. Yeah, let's see if um, we get a new heat exchanger out of Worcester. Might be back doing that. Or oh, might be back doing a new boiler. Let's see, we'll see what happens, while we? Yeah, it's gone from the loft. I've got one bracket where it goes out. Really, should have another bracket there. Screws on. Just go on that side, but yeah. It's going to be picky. I'll just have one more bracket on that. That's the boiler all done. I was going to say, get stickers on boilers. I can't tell you how much work I'll get out of stickers on boilers. Is anyone wondering what bag I use? It's a Velocity Rogue 9.0. I'm just going to give it a quick tidy, put all my tools back in order. Now, I'm going to have to use these temporary. I don't like them a lot, the side cutters, but they're a bit bulky. But yeah, that's my setup. I've got some weird screwdrivers. That's it. That should be a knob there. Um, yeah, that's a good one as well. We have an Allen key set. I do like that. Of course, one of my favourite ones. They all filter in. Um, but ratchet. For my 17 mil bit which is on top there. Um yeah, that's the one that I use. So tools in the front, test stuff in, in the back. We've got the analyzer, multimeter, we've got probes in there, and we've got some side pockets as well. I do like it, it is a bit bulky and can get heavy if you chuck everything in there, but yeah, it's done me proud for about a year now. Just noticed them, they were down here. Oh, we saw see, clean your bag out, you find your tools. So yeah, I can put them over ones, oh, these back of my van. So on that Worcester, unfortunately, it does need a new heat exchanger. But if it's under 10 years old, in contact Worcester, they'll, nine times out of 10, they'll send you out a new heat exchanger. But they won't replace it. You'll have to replace it. But, yeah, they are going to say, we took some pictures, took a picture of the serial number, sent it all off to Worcester. They will date the boiler. Hopefully, they'll send out a new heat exchanger. So we might be back doing a new heat exchanger on that. If not, we can price up a new heat exchanger. Absolutely no problem. Um, then the other route, obviously, is a new boiler. But I'd say if I'm going to do the main heat exchange on that, I want a full slate clean of the system and a system filter putting in. There's no point in putting a new heat exchanger on that system without it being cleaned out. It'll just make the system last longer. So the 5K giveaway, we've got another prize in there, and it is these. Obviously, not these exact ones. These are mine, but these are the Monka work boots from Australia. Now, I've had them now for about two weeks. I can honestly say they are dead comfortable, and I do like that bit the rubber bit on the end now as plumbers gas engineers you know you get holes in your tiles really quickly but then they look like they're going to last a long time so from a company called big boots
Now, I met Roy and the owner on a podcast. Him and his wife run the company. When I told him what work boots I was wearing, he just laughed at me and says, nah, he said, I'm going to send you some work boots out. You tell me what I'm like. And I can honestly say, I'm really good. So thank you to Ryan. He's actually said he's going to donate the boots. Now, I was going to pay for them, but he said, no, it's fine. I'm going to throw them in the giveaway for you, which means I can add something more into the giveaway. So big thank you to Ryan. Now, if you want to check out his company, I'm going to link in the description. You can get 10% off any order. You can use my code. It's Bulldog10. You get 10% off any order. They do a large range of workwear. They've got steel blues, monkey boots, basically everything on there. So check them out. Yeah, that's another prize for the 5K giveaway. I want to say, if you got this far, thank you so much for your support. Honestly, I really appreciate it. 5K is coming quick. I can't wait to do that. I really can't. So that's come a lot quicker than what I thought. Um, so, yeah, got one more to come out before naming Christmas. Hope you guys are breaking up soon. Looking forward to a break over Christmas. I know I am. I need it now. So, yeah, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.